I would say astrology is basically the interpretation of the energies of the planets uh, at the time that you were born or in like the current moment. So obviously nobody's like, yeah, the literal Pluto is defining this right now. It's the energy that Pluto represents. It's the energy that um, Pluto like invokes in us. So Mm -hmm. the easiest way that I like to describe it is that like with the moon, you know, the moon controls the tide. The moon controls people's emotions. Like when there's a full moon, there's higher crime rates. There's more births. Um, Eclipses, there's more births. There's more death. Well, new details tonight about a horrific crime spree across Los Angeles. That crime spree ended with three people, including a on the freeway. And KKL News reporter Lori Perez is live in Woodland Hills tonight with the very latest. Lori? Pat and Juan, tonight a nine-year-old girl is the sole survivor in a family of four that lived in an apartment at this complex behind me. Tonight she is in the custody of the Department of Children and Families as a massive investigation unfolds. In the Woodland Hills neighborhood of San Fernando Valley, about 25 miles northwest of downtown Los Angeles, one neighbor would be awakened by the sounds of screaming and distress. The disturbance took place at an upscale apartment called the Montecito, and it was around 4 a.m. and only went on for about a minute or so, so the lady would go back to sleep. In the morning, that same lady and her father would come outside to an eerie scene, and what he and his daughter saw was something made of nightmares. Inside of one unit in the posh $5,600 a month Montecito apartments, the aftermath of a tragedy would spread around the building. There was fluids left not only in the unit, but the walkway, stairs, and elevators, leaving the community in a complete and utter shock of what had taken place. The unit in question was home to a family of four for just about a year as of April 2024, and no one saw what unfolded coming. However, not only did a horrible crime take place in the unit, but two more incidents across the city would all lead back to one family and one person who allegedly attempted to unalive her whole family but one person would survive to give an account of what happened that eerie morning. 29-year-old Jalen Chaney was merely weeks away from celebrating his 30th birthday in May 2024, and I'm sure he had big plans for that milestone, as many people do. He resided in Los Angeles, California, in the Woodland Hills apartments, the Montecito, where he lived with his girlfriend and her two children. According to loved ones, Jalen served as a senior airman and worked as a technician at the 31st Munition Squadron. As a part of serving his country, he was based in Europe in an Air Force base in Italy, where he conducted an 18-month inspection around the end of 2020. While in Europe, his girlfriend, now 34-year-old Danielle Johnson, accompanied him, and they would take time to visit different places across the country on his downtime. Danielle was already a mother when she began dating Jalen, and he had no children. Even though they were in Europe traveling around, something was off for Jalen. According to his brother, Jalen checked in with him sporadically, but never shared any real details about his relationship. However, in one concerning text message from November 2022, he said, Jalen said, I have been dealing with a lot personally with my girlfriend that I don't care to really share right now because it's not appropriate. Now, Jalen did not go any further with his explanation, but one can only wonder what was going on. When the pair did eventually come back to the U.S., they settled down in L.A., and in 2023, they welcomed their own daughter together. Financially, everything seemed to be going great for the both of them, but spiritually, they may have been on two different pages. In my findings, I found that Danielle was an astrology influencer and musician. She was verified on Twitter with over 100K followers, and that is where she built her following in her business. According to Danielle's business page, in summary, she was a certified Reiki master teacher who says she was trained in over 10 different alternative healing modulates. Danielle began her toolage with her personal healer in 2011 after beginning her own healing journey. After three years of intense training, Danielle began to expand her abilities by creating a unique method of healing that combined her training along with her knowledge of energy, physics, and psychology. Now, I personally do not follow anything with astrology, so I never knew of her, but it seems that it was her complete life's focus. Both Danielle and Jalen were not from California, but made a home there in that Woodland Hills neighborhood. 
Neighbors at the Montecito apartment said the couple's relationship was often turbulent and arguments could be heard between the two. Could one of the reasons for tension be that Danielle was allegedly still married to her first child's father? Maybe. Yet, he was living across the country in Ohio where they joined their union in 2014 after the birth of their daughter, Danielle's oldest child, who was currently nine. However, apparently the pair were in the process of getting a divorce. It was clear, though, that she had moved on and had a new family. With Danielle's belief in astrology and that the earth and moon determine life's outcome, she allegedly became concerned with the total eclipse that was happening on April 8, 2024. A few days before April 8th, Danielle took the X and penned this post. Wake up, wake up, the apocalypse is here. Everyone who has ears listen, your time to choose what you believe is now. If you believe a new world is possible for the people right now, there is power in choice. There is power in choice. Repost to make this choice for the collective. Then on April 7th, she did a repost that said, Alert, this is the final warning. Turn notifications on. Do not look at the eclipse. Something big is coming. What came after was a full and complete nightmare for L.A. and the surrounding areas. According to the timeline of events, overnight on Sunday, April 7th, going into the 8th, neighbors of Danielle and Jalen heard a loud argument coming from the couple's Woodland Hills apartment in the middle of the night. At about 3.40 a.m. Monday, according to authorities, Danielle suspected of fatally puncturing Jalen inside the residence before fleeing with her two young daughters in a dark-colored Porsche. Danielle then rammed the apartment building garage gate instead of opening it as she drove away in her SUV, investigators would state. Around 4.30 a.m., Danielle would then take her two children in the SUV and they would get on the Highway 405. And while on the freeway in Westchester area, Danielle was said to have slowed the moving vehicle down, opened the passenger door, and then told her daughter to get out of the car. When her daughter didn't do what she said, Danielle then forcibly moved both girls out of the vehicle in the middle of the freeway while the Porsche was moving, according to the Los Angeles Police Department. Sadly, the unthinkable happened to the youngest as a car passed by and did not see them. Good Samaritan stopped on the freeway and called 911. When emergency responders arrived, they tragically pronounced the youngest unalive on the scene, and her older sister was transported to the hospital. The surviving daughter was later placed in the custody of Los Angeles County Family Services. By 5 a.m., after Danielle allegedly forced the children out of the car, witnesses said she headed south to Redondo Beach, where she reached speeds of more than 100 miles per hour. Then out of nowhere, her SUV slammed into a tree on a corner of an intersection and Danielle was pronounced unalive at the scene. Even though I told you that Jalen was already unalive, it was not known until 7.30 a.m. when he was found. The 26-year-old woman, the neighbor of Jalen and Danielle's, who lived in the same building, discovered the fluids all over and the door wide open. It was at that point the woman's father called the police and told them that something was not right. It was then that the EMT asked him to go in and check on the mail. When he did, he said Jalen was unalive and he was face down on the floor in his own fluids. Danielle Johnson, Tim Durney heated argument, then took off with her two kids. Now, authorities don't have a concrete reason for the tragedy, but also people are speculating that the total eclipse played a major role. Two plus two makes four, and the actions she carried out and everything she posted all seem to point to one thing. Her belief that on April 8th was the time to pick a side, and sadly, she went to the dark side. The only positive out of all this is her oldest made it out, but at what cost? She will forever have the memory of what her mother did and see what happened to her sister. The amount of counseling and therapy will be lifelong, and she does not deserve that. Possibly another positive for her is that her father's side of the family, who live in Ohio, are very well known. From what I found, the child who I will not name, father owns his own business and her grandmother holds an office there. I do pray that they do take her in and give her a good life because she does not need any more trauma or to be left in the system. I'm pretty sure her father will get her if he hasn't already. As for Jalen, he was said to be a great man and worked hard to accomplish his dreams. Though he was in the Air Force at the time of his passing, he had dreams of one day being a meteorologist. His brother also added that he was just like the rest of us, trying to have fun and trying to have a family. This is beyond sad and heartbreaking. 
And I want to know your all's thoughts on this situation. Were any of you worried about April 8th and the total eclipse? Let me know. No matter what, though, what happened should have never happened. And Jalen and his daughter deserve to be here still. My prayers and condolences go out to the people who are affected in this situation. From the family, to the friends, to the witnesses and bystanders. This was just complete tragedy. So please don't forget to comment your thoughts and prayers for everybody involved in this situation. Also, don't forget to hit that like button and share to make your people aware. And as always, remember to stay woke. Things change quickly.